Hello and thanks for joining me for another review. Today we have the Moto 360 that has recently been updated from 5.0.2 to 5.1.1. 95% of this review will be about the new operating system and less about the watch. So I'm going to skip things that you already know and we'll look at just things that have been updated with the new 5.1.1 release. Like before, when you tap one time on the screen, the list of settings comes up. Well, now they've added, if you'll notice at the top, there was three little dots, which means you have several more pages to flip through. So if you flip from right to left, first page you'll have the settings, you'll have recently used apps. So if you flip to the left, you'll have a list of contacts. If you flip one more time, you'll have a list of settings, note taking, reminders, and most to do about health and stuff like that. Nothing new there. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, everything pretty much looks the same, but just in, uh, able to get to it a lot quicker. So let's flip back. Okay, if you go to the settings, scroll down, you'll notice you have font size, wrist gestures, and also now you have Wi-Fi settings. Let's click on Wi-Fi settings, and if you'll look, it'll give you a list of Wi-Fi access hotspots that your phone has recently joined. I've added all the ones that I have at home and some that are from public. Um, the one thing, if you are out in public and you don't have your phone with you, and you do, and you have a Wi-Fi connection, then the only thing you'll be able to do is look at it. You won't be able to actually access it unless your phone has accessed it at one time, because everything needs to be set up. To set one of them up, take your phone with you to an access point, say such as work or something like that. Open it up, click on it. It says open on phone. Open it on your phone and then put in the password and that way it'll always be in there now the next time that you go out and you forget your phone you'll be able to go down through here and there's a setting that you can click on that uh, says Wi-Fi wi automatic if you click on that then it'll automatically connect the next time you're out if it doesn't connect then you can go back look for it and like I said if you've used it if your phone has used it before then you'll be able to just to click on it and it'll automatically connect that'll give you access to your phone wherever it is as long as your phone's on internet service too normally if you leave it at home it will be anyway that's pretty much uh, all there is for the new Wi-Fi settings and uh, let's take a look at some other stuff if you want to send a text message then go to the second page and you'll notice all your contacts there this is where you'll be able to send a text and you'll be able to draw your emojis once you find the contact you'd like to text, tap on their number and then scroll down to draw emoji. Click on that and you'll notice that a little screen will come up where you can draw. I've noticed that if you just tap it and make a little dot, it'll give you a list of the emojis that you can draw that look most like that dot and that way you'll get an idea of what you can actually draw. It'll, if you scroll back to the right, it'll let you go back and draw something else. Then you can draw different shapes and that way you'll get a sort of an idea of what you'd like to put in the text. If you can't draw, then this way it's easier. You can just tap on the picture once it comes up. It's pretty handy. Once you find what you'd like to put in, then just tap on it and then it adds it to the text. And it asks you to confirm with a check mark or you can go back and do it again. And that's it for the emojis. There is a new application it's called Flashlight. If you click on it, then the screen turns very bright. I'm going to see if I can focus in for you. In the center of it, there's a silhouette of a little flashlight. If you click on that, without having to close the flashlight app, you can dim it and you can also bring it back. I've noticed that since the time I've installed this yesterday, 
that the battery life has got a little better. Um, if you'll notice on here, before I had a mini launcher that was terrible. It, it made the, the watch just almost unusable. But uh, I installed one called Apollo uh, Wear Launcher. And um, once it's back to the home screen, if you click down in the uh, left hand corner and pull up, then it'll bring up a list of your apps and it's very smooth I mean I, I love it. it it's really improved the watch even before the update it's, it improved it and was it almost like it was made for it you know instead of being a third party that you know works on pretty much any watch it just feels like it it's really smooth and uh, along the side here you have the date weather and then your battery percentage. But like I said, it's it's real smooth. I love it. But um, that's pretty much it. I mean, the watch doesn't have any more features added to it that uh, take advantage of anything else on the watch, like you know the accelerometer or anything like that. Flashlights is pretty much the only thing that's improved. That and the addition of the Wi-Fi. But everything else just sort of works the same. It's just the manner that it that you get to it now uh, maps has improved before it showed you that it's not available but now if you click on the maps it'll show your location and it'll bring up a small little map and you're able to zoom in So you do have that available now. Like I said before, once you're connected to Wi-Fi at another location and you don't have your phone with you, you still have a lot of the advantages of being of having your phone. Let's go into the settings and uh, we'll show you the build number and everything. Okay, there's the build number LDZ220. If you click on that, the version, you'll notice it's the uh, new version, Android OS 5.1.1. I've noticed that um, a lot of the um, people want to sort of work with your phone and to do different things. and. Um, you can go in there and you can make it, uh, you can set this to, to developer mode. Right now I have it set where it zooms in and out. System is up to date. And that looks like that's pretty much all that's uh, been changed on it. I really appreciate you watching. Please rate and subscribe. And um, I'll try to get back to doing more regular videos. But anyway, this has been the review of the Moto 360 Update 5.1.1. Thank you.